everyone this is Martin I'm here with Captain Adrian and Mike and we're gonna talk fishing gear some of the fishing gear there's there they are Mike and Adrian and uh, some of the fishing gear we've been out for 10 days out on the ocean fishing and this is a uh, Shimano TLD 20 and uh, and how what does the TLD 20 stand for TLD 20 is the size of the reel and how much line that reel can hold Okay, and this will hold roughly what weight of line? Right, we have these loaded with 40. I think the recommended line weight weight is about 30, but I don't want to lose a fish, so we load it up a little heavier. Okay, and what we were catching with these is we caught some amber jacks and some Spanish mackerel and some big eyed jacks, and uh, sounds like a poker hand, doesn't it? Uh, anyway, uh, I think the biggest one we caught on these was around 20 pounds, and they did really good. Uh, this is a TLD 25, which is a little bit bigger. So what is the difference there? Same thing. You can see the, the size difference of the reel. Just a little bit different. You're obviously going to hold uh, much more line on this on this rod. You could put a heavier line on here, but we have these loaded the same with 40 pound test. Okay. Uh, gear ratio is slightly different. Okay, and then um, these are both Shimano's, and uh, while we are not sponsoring Shimano, if Shimano hears this and wants to uh, uh, be a sponsor, send uh, all equipment to Treasured Times Cruising. Attention, Mike. <laughs> okay, now, that was for kind of the lightweight game fish uh, that we were catching. Um, when we were catching those 300-pound sharks, this is what we were using, and this is a TLD two-speed 50. 50. Okay, so LRSA. much larger and has two speeds on the on the gear thing. They all have these little hooks, so you yeah. hook yourself in if you're yeah. afraid you're going to get yanked these, overboard. These are for belt hooks or chair hooks. They would you know clip down. Uh, we don't use that. We like the uh, chance of getting yanked overboard. Oh, we just leave it in the rod holder. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, these are good too if you want to put lanyard clips like I put a clip here and wrap it around the railing Because there is the chance that rod holder can always break And the two-speed thing I didn't realize how important that was until we hooked into one of those big sharks and uh, It spooled out a lot of line and uh, I could not reel it in I, I put it on full drag to where um, It was still kind of pulling it out, but it was set to the full drag and I could not reel that thing up and when Mike shifted it over to the, I guess it'd be the lower gear, gear ratio, um, that uh, I was able to reel it in. And uh, it was still a fight, but I was able to at least turn the, the handle on it where I couldn't before. It's and, a pretty simple operation too. You just push it in oh, for high speed. Good. That's high speed when it's in. So you can crank real fast. And if you wanna go, I'm sorry, in is low speed and you push up give you high speed so you can crank it in much faster yeah and I could not have cranked that shark in that I was that I had hooked um, without that low speed setting I just I couldn't turn the handle you see this much heavier line too this is 100 pound test uh, okay 100 pound test now if that doesn't uh, if that isn't enough for you the next thing we're gonna go to is something where this is the sinker that's the sinker I don't know what it feels like, 10 pounds maybe? 10 pounds. That's a 10 pound sinker. And then you have line like this, which is, is that a? We're doing a chicken rig. It's a chicken rig. You put whole chickens on there, I guess. That's, is a, that what it is? that's a 14 hot, 14 hot hook. And 300 pound test. 300 pound mono leader. It's got several hooks and they're, on And they're on swinging line. them around like they're gonna try to hook me in the leg or something. Yes. Yeah, so There's so like this. one. Like four or five, six hooks on here, and you put a piece of squid or something on each hook. A whole squid. A whole squid. A whole a squid, squid on each hook. Yep. So that At down. the bottom is your weight. Yep. And then uh, you got these little rigs coming out the side, oh, all the way up. This is the top. This is the top. Right, so that's the top. And the top, you hook into your tow truck tow winch. Tow truck. You got the top going here. You see, I'm having way too much fun with this. And usually we use a clip, but just for demonstration purposes, tie a little knot here. 
Mike says when you don't know how to tie a knot, tie lots of it. Don't know how to, don't know a knot, tie a lot. Tie a lot, yep. Dunk. And we were out, actually out in deep water, about 2,000 feet deep, uh, where we could have got into some swordfish and things like that, where something like this would be what we would use. And this is just nothing more than a, a winch, <laughs> basically. Yeah, do that again a little bit. But see, it, it's rigged like it's running right now, but it's not. So you gotta tighten it up. When you start tightening, it's like tightening the drag, I guess, huh? Yep. And there it goes. Whoa. Now we gotta go and retrieve Lost that. It. See now, that's what happens when you don't tie a knot. Sand in the knot. diver. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I call this the, uh, the tow truck or the boat winch because it's uh, powered on DC voltage and uh, it's got a rod attached. And uh, when a fish hooks up on it, it'll just start cranking it up. Anyway, that's the fishing equipment that we used. <laughs>